me Rose here, Ginger Gallivantor, and today I am finally doing my haul vlog. Woo! So this is my haul from what I got at uh, Disneyland and what I got at uh, Gallifrey One. I decided to sort of combine them in sort of a together in sort of a little haul. Um, so yeah, let's uh, just get straight to it. So. Let's go. So here we go. First two items are these two lovely, cute little baby Yodas. Now they came from some mystery boxes, which I got at the one of the shut stores in Disneyland. And there's actually a video in the Disney vlog, which you've just seen, where I unbox these. So if you want to know where these came from, how I got them, check out that vlog before this one. Next pairing, oh my goodness, here they are, my boys, Chip and Dale. Now, when I knew about the Disney 100 um, uh, plushies, uh, the two that I wanted the most were Chip and Dale. I went into the store, <coughs> I saw them in the corner, they did have Mickey and Minnie as well, I was so tempted to get them as well, but I still had to save my money for Gallifrey 1, see if there's any merch there. So I just got my boys, Chip and Dale, which actually came as a pair. They came like um, treasury tagged together, sort of. So that was really, really cool. So next thing I got was <coughs> Ahsoka. This was in the marketplace in Galaxy's Edge. And look at her. She is just amazingly cute. I absolutely love her. She came with me on the plane back home. And oh, just look, so cute. So, from Disneyland, I, here's my other Disney bag. Oh, you've just seen a little flash of that. Oh, let's hide that out the way for a second. We don't want to see that yet. So, next thing I got was this little bell. So, this is Christmas Bell from the Beauty and the Beast sort of enchanted Christmas film. And this is Belle in her pink outfit with a little hood on and a little bird. It's just some, a little pop figurine. So cute. Obviously, unbox because I um, unbox my pop Funkos. Because I like to have them out and about. I like to exchange them. I like to, you know, I'm very tactile. So I like to touch them, feel them. So, yeah, that's why she's at the box. <clears throat> now, last year when I went to Disneyland, I got a Savvy's Workshop lightsaber. And this year they brought out some new pommels. Now, pommels is what you screw sort of onto the end of the lightsaber. So I got some pommels. So I got, first one I got was a pork, obviously. If you don't mind me, you know I love my porgs. Last year at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge at Disneyland, I got loads of porgs. <coughs> yep, yeah, I got loads of porgs. So that's that one. And then the other one that I got, which I didn't know about until my friend Simon pointed it out to me later on in the day when I met up with the group. Thanks, Simon. So, you know, this wasn't my fault that I brought this. This was Simon's fault. Look. It's a circus owl. I could not resist the beauty of this pommel. Look at it. Gorgeous. Now, what else have I got in my bag of delights? Ah, here we go. I've got another pop. I've got Hercules. Now, this is the pop I knew was in the Funko Pop Shop in Hollywood. Hollywood. And so I saw him. I got him. I wanted him. I didn't realise, though, he came encased in sort of like this sort of plasticky box display case thing. And you know me, I like to unbox my Funko figures. But I see, look, he was sort of screwed in the back there. He's got a big, massive hole in his head as well. But so he was screwed on by the hole and he was stuck on at the base. So you can see the little stuff there. So I had no way of getting him out of the box. Um, but I wanted him out of the box because I couldn't fit the box in my suitcase to get him home. So what I did was I was in the hotel room. I got the edge of my trainer and I basically had to um, smash Hercules open. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so I smashed him open, uh, took him off his base, unscrewed his head from the backboard. Uh, yeah, and that's how he came home. So, but I'm so happy he's at the box because, like, just, just, oh, I just love the feel of Funko Pops. Like, they just... So grippy, and I just love looking at all the little, touching all the little details. 
if anyone else is like me and like some box their Funko Pop because they like to, you know, be tactile with them, l- um, let me know in the comments below because I have some people saying, oh, I'm boxing, I'm boxing. But um, yeah, so I can take them out of the box because they're, they're mine. I'm not going to sell them. Um, and yeah, I'd like to sort of switch them out and stuff. And I know you can do that when they're boxed up, so you know what they are. But, you know, oh, look, they just feel so nice. Okay, so what's next? Ah, here you go. This is a little Lego Ahsoka, which I didn't buy for myself. It was given to me by my lovely friend Simon. He saw them, I think, in the Disney store in London, I think. I'm sure he'll correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but yeah, so he bought one for me and one for my our friend Chris, um, who me and Chris both love Ahsoka. She is our girl. Oh my gosh. Have you guys seen the trailer for the new live-action Ahsoka that's coming out in August? Oh my gosh, it looks amazing. I'm not going to say what's in the trailer, just in case anyone doesn't want to watch it. Spoilers, etc. But oh my gosh, it's like two months away still. And I just want it to happen now. Let's see what else we've got. Here we go. This is another thing I got. Ooh. I'll show you this as well. This is a Doctor Who blanket. Big fluffy blanket. It's got a TARDIS on it. It's pretty. It's so snuggly. I got this at Gallifrey One. Um, I'm just pointing it out to you now because I'm just using it as a as a sort of thing to put everything on. But it's so comfy. I got it for the plane home. It was so comfy. Um, it was the one thing actually that I got because I wanted it, and then I sort of half regretted getting it because it f- filled up space in my case. Which meant I had to get an extra little backpack, which this then went home in. Um, but yeah, I was planning not to buy an extra suitcase this year. And I didn't have to buy an extra suitcase, but I did have to buy an extra backpack. So what I did was... What did I do? I had to repack a couple of times, sat on the lobby floor of the hotel the morning we were going home. Um... But yeah, so I had to just get an extra holder, I think. That's it. I thought I was going to have to get an extra suitcase, but I got an extra holder in the end and I, I shimmied things around a little bit. And I had to carry the majority of, actually the majority of all this stuff in my hand luggage. That was it. And then I had another backpack, which was my hand luggage on the way, which you would have seen the uh, the grey one. I think I had to pack the grey one into my suitcase, didn't I? I did, yeah. But then when I got back to London, the stuff in the... Oh, I didn't know. No, I packed the extra backpack up with all my stuff. And that went in the hold, actually. This went in my normal carry-on. That was it. And when I got back and picked up the suitcase and the extra backpack, I put the, I emptied the extra backpack, put that flat in the suitcase, and put all the stuff from the backpack that I'd taken with me back into my suitcase so that I had one backpack and a suitcase to go home in because I wouldn't be able to carry two backpacks home with me. And also to hide the fact from my mum that I had to get an extra bag. She has known since then that I had to get an extra bag and she was not best pleased about it. But you know what? She said you had a good time, you had fun. It was probably worth it in the end. So, next thing I've got is look at this. Look at this thing of beauty comes in this lovely box look at that box in this amazing box <clears throat> let me just get it out oh gosh i always forget how heavy oh there's my foot there sorry i always forget how heavy this is but look at that look at that star wars galaxy's edge so yes my friends got this i knew it was there thanks to um i think it was an ordinary adventures vlog on uh youtube those guys are amazing. They Because they live in that area, they have all the Disneyland merch and all the good hiding spots. So we got all of that, all of our information about Disneyland and stuff from them. So thank you guys for always being amazing. I will link them down below because I've mentioned them. <clears throat> and, oh gosh, I can't close this box. Oh gosh, what am I doing? There we go, box closed. Now, I can't remember what this is, actually. 
So I'm gonna I'm unboxing this. I'm taking this off at the same time as you are watching it now because I can't remember what this is. <coughs> it might be something Disney 100. I think. Oh, I think I remember what it is now. I think I know what this is. I think this is my decoration. I think. Let's just open it. Oh wow, it's very well wrapped. This is Disney wrapping, people. Extremely well wrapped. Yes, it is. Yeah. It is my Disney 100 ornament. Look, it's my boys. Look, they match. La la. So yeah, this is uh, for the Disneyland 100 from Disney Walt Disney World 100. There's so much stuff at Disneyland. Can you see that? Are you going to focus? Are you going to focus? Yes, you are. There we go. And you can pick it up. You can hang it on your tr Christmas tree at Christmas time. Look, and it's like a all the way round type thing. There you go. she got little tushies. There we go. Oh, there we go. Look how gorgeous that is. So that is going to be on my tree this Christmas. And I'm probably just going to have it out, you know, on the side. It's just like that. That's an ornament. Um, right. So let's just rewrap this up. I'm, do I'm, re I'm doing this with one hand, people. I'm, 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 I am becoming a, I'm becoming a vlogger. I'm doing things with one hand. Look at that. Look at that superb wrapping up of that. I'm just going to leave that over there, out of the way, so I don't crush it. Oh, sorry, Dale. Right. See, I've got my little bag of delights here. I've got this. This. I'm, I'm nearly there, people. <laughs> well, actually, no. I tell a lie. I'm not. Right. I'm just going to lay these all out because there's so. It was all the pins, basically. These are all my pins. Oh, clink. You can hear a clink there. Ah. I'll show you these next, actually. These are the Disney 100 uh, medallion coins that you could get from the machine. Oh, see my lovely phone. They look, woo. So this are uh, the Star Wars ones. So there's Yoda. There's Chewie and Han Solo. There's Leia and R2-D2. And there's Darth Vader and Luke having a battle. Uh, do I have any more in here? I knew I got one more. Now I couldn't. I didn't have time um, to find the Disney, the Disney one hundred ones because it's because of time and things like that. But my friends stayed in a little bit longer because they did a couple of photo shoots in Disneyland, so they stayed on a little bit longer than me and a couple of others did. But Simon, they went in the sweet shop to get some sweets, um, which I was going to do, but I was just, yeah, I was still being a little bit careful because of my throat and stuff. But the lovely Simon, Simon again, Simon is so naughty sometimes, he gets me so much. He, they saw them and he got me, he had just enough <coughs> cash on him, I think, if I remember rightly, to get me this. Bless him. So look, it's my Chippendale, it's my boys, I just, I just love them so much. I didn't meet them this year at Disneyland, but last year, when we went for the same trip, I didn't vlog that trip because I wasn't sort of into vlogging and it wasn't, you know. Um, I, we went in, we said there was Mickey and Minnie and everybody on the balcony, like as you go into Disneyland. As you go into Disneyland, go in, face towards Main Street and then turn around and look up and there's like uh, green sort of railings and you know, characters are there to greet you in the morning. Um, we... And but everyone was there apart from Chip and Dale. And then I turned and was just enjoying one of the sort of quartets. It wasn't the Dapper Dans. It was another sort of, it was just like a barbershop quartet, but not the Dapper Dans. They were just playing music and stuff. And then just out of the corner of my eye, just to the side, they were there, Chip and Dale. Oh my gosh. I squeaked. I ran across. There wasn't, there was no line. This was, just, this was during COVID, so we couldn't get close to them. They were sort of in sort of like a little grassy over. The chat was like, yeah, yeah, no need to no need to queue up. Just, you know, go in, take a picture. So I said hello to Chip and Dale. Blew them kisses. We had a little dance. They had a little boogie. It was so much fun. I did have an opportunity to hug and squeeze and cuddle and meet Chip and Dale when I went on my Disney cruise. Um, again, this was before... It was the September before the vlogs that you're seeing at the moment. So I hadn't started vlogging then. And it was just 
amazing just to hug characters see characters. I did take loads of photos for my Disney cruise when I was on my Disney cruise. Um, so what I might do is I might just do like a sort of like a video montage of each day. So I might do that like in two vlogs. Anyway, I'm digressing, like back. So yes, Chippendale, love, love, love. Right, next is oh, Galaxy's Edge. I got a Kyber Crystal necklace and it is the white crystal, which for those of you that as you didn't know, is Soka, so I had to get the necklace. I might wear that. I'm actually I'm going away soon with my friends. Something like that. Oh, yes, these are... Oh, these have still got the price on, so I'll just cover that up. These are pins I got when we went to the uh, Californian Science Centre, where we saw the Space Shuttle Endeavour. Uh, let's have a look. Here we go. Endeavour beautiful yeah pins pins are my new things now i'm sort of banned from getting bags and things and now i'm onto the pins uh, here we go these are some more pins i got at the funko pop shop they were robin hood for people that don't know robin hood is one of my favorite disney films i have a robin hood i have one robin hood lounge flight at the moment i am hoping to um increase that number soon um, so I'm on the hunt for Robin Hood Loungefly. So if anyone sees any in any of the websites, do link me down below. Thank you. All right. Now this is two little pins that I got when I brought... So this is, as you know, this is Pain and Panic. It's two little birdies. Um, I went under the Funko Pump Shop. I also brought a skirt there. I brought the Muses Loungefly skirt. Stitch Shop um, skirt, which I don't have to show you now um, because it's in the wash, unfortunately, because I have worn it. <laughs> but it is in the wash, and you will probably see it in the next vlog series that I'm going to be doing. Ah, now, this pen is a Star Lord pen. Um, my love, our lovely friend Jane, who is also Chris's wife, um, uh, do do they do pin trading? I'll be that close, so you can see it. Uh, come on, light, come on, don't don't fail me now. There we go. I'm, just, I'm keeping still. I'm keeping still. Um, does pin Disney pin trading, and she gave me and my friend April a pin each when we found a pin board and we did some trading. And I got this little one here, so I kept this one. It's so cute. Here we go. Here's some. So here's a here's a pin from Batu. See, this is what happens when you let me loose in. And here we have Mandu and. Grogu, little Grogu, or people call it Baby Yoda sometimes. It was called Baby Yoda until we found its name, but it is Grogu. And some of the Disney 100 pins that I got, here we go. So I got Donald and Daisy, and I got Mickey and Minnie. Now, I couldn't find Chippendale. Well, I did find Chippendale. So when I was in Frontierland at Disneyland, I was with my friends and we were sort of in between. I think we went in on the way from Rise of Resistance to Smuggler's Run. Oh, yes, it was once we were doing the pin trading and we saw this pin shop and she had all the Disney 100 pins at the store. And I thought, oh, I'll come back to the store later and get them. And I just couldn't find it later on in the day. I think I was panicking. It was getting dark. It was just, oh, but anyway. I found the Chip and Dale one. So I did the thing that... You know, you're not really supposed to do is to look on eBay and get it as a price. Luckily, it was a lady from the UK. Um, it was more expensive, but it wasn't too much more expensive, actually. And the Because it didn't come from America, it came from the UK. So there wasn't too much in the posters and there was no custom charges. So it wasn't too bad. But I did find it online. So I did also get Chip and Dale. And then at... Um, the Gallifrey One um, convention, they were also, they were selling some of these pins. Now, the lovely, lovely, did Simon get me this pin? I think he did. So the lovely Simon got me this pin. Look, it is the Fugitive Doctor, a.k.a. Joe Martin, a.k.a. Friend. Because I have met Joe Martin and there's an amazing story about how I met Joe Martin. 
the first time. <laughs> Matter of con since, but for the first time. So I will tell that story probably in a vlog because it's a bit of a story, 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 story. And it's it's to do with Gallifrey one last year, but I will tell the story in another vlog. And then I bought this one for myself, which is the 14th Doctor, as you know. I love David Tennant, so this I had to get his new 14th Doctor pin. So yeah, Geek Regeneration. I think they're based in um, geekregeneration.com. There you go. There's all their handles there. I don't know if they're based in the U America or the UK. I don't know if they deliver like to the UK. I'm not sure. I will check that out for you, and I will check. And if they do deliver to the UK, I will. I'll just link them below. That is all that stuff. So the next thing I'm going to show you is this giant rainbow Dalek. Now this was at Gallifrey One. It was sat at a store. They were giving money for charity and it was just sat there for the whole weekend. No one had brought it. It was handmade, one of a kind. And you know what? I had a bit of money left. Some of it, it was going to charity. Some of it was going to charity. So I just thought, you know what? I'm going to buy it. And then I got Gigi Edgley to name it. Um, if you don't know who Gigi is, look at Fire Escape. Amazing series. Um, so she named it Isabella. So this is Isabella Dalek. She is so cute. Now, other things I got were part of the um, uh, Gallifrey one thing. You could all pre-order T-shirts and uh, a, t a bag. Um, I thought I pre-ordered the bag and the T-shirt, but I hadn't. I'd only pre... <coughs> I'd only pre-ordered the T-shirt, which is fine. But this is Simon again. Simon again. He accidentally ordered two bags, so he... Bless him. He gave me the spare one. Sorry, that's my foot. Sorry, sorry, sorry if you don't like feet. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, yeah, so that so I got that. Uh, what's inside that? Oh, just some touch. Right. <sighs> you think that's it? I'm backing up now because uh, you're about to see um, uh, other things. So what's in here? What's in here? Uh, um, yeah, I'll show these. These are two little pins that I recently got at London Film and Comic Con Spring, which you will see the vlog for soonish. There you go. Look, I love coffee because I do love my coffee. So I got that. Just gonna no, look at that one-handed. Oh, I'm good getting used to this one-handed stuff. Look at all the merch. And Chippendale. Now I did get a couple more of the Disney 100 pins. So let me just grab them. In this bag. Here we go. Alright, let's see. Here we go. Oh, here we go. I'm looking for these. Some more that I got from. I don't know what I got from Disney actually. Oh, here we go. Oh, I did get some more 100 pins. I thought I had. Uh, sorry. Here we go. Yeah, I thought I'd found some more. Now, some of these I did get online. Here we go. So there's the <coughs> and I also got these from the parks as well. I got Tigger and Roo. I got Pooh and Christopher Robin because I love Winnie the Pooh. And there was a Winnie the Pooh lounge fly that I was looking for that I'd seen people have. And it looked so cute, but I couldn't find it at Disneyland. I found it I found it since and I still haven't brought it. I don't know why. I should really. But I'm trying to save my money. 
There's a land front bag coming coming out soon that I really want. I'm just trying to save my money for it. There you go. So that's Rue and Eel. There we go. I didn't find one rabbit on them. Anyway, I also got some more Hercules because again, Hercules is again one of my favourite Disney films. So there you go. Young Hercules. And then there's Meg and Statue of Hercules. And I would say I'm in love. And I'll stop the singing immediately. Now, these next set of pins, I got them online. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I've got them on Shop Disney. I'm just going to lay them out. Because they're part of the 100 collection. There was at this store that I told you about that I couldn't find. So I bought them online. So I got um, Elsa, Tiana, Tinkerbell, uh, Disney 100 logo with Mickey and Pluto, Baby Yoda. I got Donald, Mickey and Minnie. And I've got the Disney 100 Pluto and Goofy. So yeah, so if I just pan out... There you go. So that is my Disneyland. Um, or oh here, this is this is my Disneyland um, slash Gallifrey One Hall. I also got some like posters and things like that, and autographs and photos which I bought in advance. But yeah, and there's two pins there instead of back in the boxes that I got from LFCC recently. Those are some more Disney pins that I got in the parks, and these ones are the ones that I got from Shop Disney UK online. So yeah guys, so most of this stuff um the plushies and stuff will live here. The actual pins and all these pins and stuff don't actually um live here at my house. They live um somewhere else. <laughs> uh somewhere else where I keep all my Disney stuff. Um so yeah so that is everything. That's the haul. Um, if you're still here, thank you very much. This is going to be over 20 minutes long because there was quite a lot of stuff, mainly pins, as you can see, and plushies. So pins and plushies and pops. So, oh, Hercules and... Oh, I keep falling over, never mind. So, yeah. So, yeah. So the next haul that you will see will be from when I go away with the friends that I went away and that you've seen in the Gallifrey One vlogs. Eight of us um, are going... Some of us are going away soon um so you'll see that vlog and the haul from that because we're, we're planning to go to the forbidden planet so i'll be buying more funkos possibly some more plushies pins if there's any pins there and maybe a little bit more lounge flare so yeah guys that was my haul um so yeah hope you enjoyed this vlog hey nerds 